you can see here we've got radiant floor throughout this section this is more like the clients going to work on the machinery this is more storage so there's going to be a a radiant tube heater it's going to be the main source of heat you can turn this on and if you don't put the tubing in before you pour concrete you never do it again so that was the thought behind this uh, customer said even if he doesn't put a boiler in right away he'll have it here so if he wants to it'll be ready to go and here in the office this will be also radiant heat so this will be the only source of heat in this room however out here there'll be a radiant tube heater which is a really efficient way to heat a building they work really well behind me we got a pump truck going in and uh, we've got about a hundred and some yards of concrete getting poured so that's uh, that is pretty exciting got a lot of guys around here I'm gonna go ahead and set my I'm gonna try to set my GoPro up they've already got a couple trucks unloaded uh, got the first probably quarter percent 25 percent of the building floor poured but I'll go ahead and set my camera up. Hopefully we can capture a little bit of the rest of this. You know, these concrete guys get up early. It's Saturday morning, long week. I, uh, I slept in till seven, so <laughs> I don't know. So in order to get the concrete all the way in the back of that shed with all that radiant heating down, and they're gonna do this all in one pour, so 72 by 80 in one pour. They got a conveyor truck. Pretty cool, they just run this out. What is cool about this drain is it's kind of hard to see, but you see how narrow and the depth of it up here in the front, but as it goes, it gets a lot deeper. So that's a custom drain that was designed and made for the space. That way it's already got the slope pre-engineered into it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool the way they are able to do these buildings in one pour. So you got these ride-on machines and these are gonna finish the, they've all got set up for different blades, different uh, finishes. That way they got the ability to kind of one of them comes in and knocks it all flat the next one comes in and polishes it up and then the last one comes in and burnishes it that way um, they can just keep kind of just keep following each other around pretty cool uh, we're getting a six inch pour this is a six bag mix we're gonna go with uh, I think it's a five inch slump and I don't know all you guys out there that are maybe concrete professionals or whatever I don't even know what all that means um, if I'm being honest like I understand the slump the way it works and uh, it's gonna be a sweet floor I know my customer is super pumped he's been waiting for this for years he just told me that at this point when we get the doors on he's got a shed with a roof doors concrete he doesn't even need heat he's been working outside his whole life doing maintenance on the gravel drive so I'm really excited for him uh, he's gonna love this and I'm gonna love it I think it's gonna be an awesome finished building so um, we're gonna let them get the pour going I got that GoPro set up and uh, we'll see how it turns out so we'll see you back here in a little bit
Got everything poured. We had messed up, I messed up on these trim dimensions. I went with an exact dimension, which was five and three eighths. And because the lumber is not exactly perfect, even though the manufacturer mills these posts to five and three eighths, the problem is we were noticing that if our post had any sort of a kick to it and it wasn't dead on laser straight, then we were having problems with our trim going over top of it. So you can kind of see here, this was one that we had did before, and we're gonna to have to take this off. I just left it for the time being. Uh, we couldn't get them to actually close. Here though, is the new trim that I just bought. So it's two pieces. We slid one from the outside because no one's really ever gonna be seeing it from here. People are gonna be looking at it from over here. So the hope is you look at it from this side, you're looking over the lap and we just are tucking them into our brackets. We'll punch our holes back through and bolt it all together. We've got some columns to do, and I'll have to take off a couple gutter downspouts as well to get to them. Man, Greg, we always underestimate the longevity and time it takes to do these weird, odd, different detail stuff that we don't do every day. So how about that, guys? Color match garage doors, 24 by 16s. Got the front apron all done. We just wrapped up wrapping all those columns down the lean to. Listen to that echo. Big empty building, 72 by 80. You can see here. This is what typically happens in 99% of our shops because honestly, most farmers, uh, contractors, whoever's putting up the building, they don't necessarily know exactly what they're gonna do, but they know they want power. So surface mount with conduit, they can add on. Let's say they wanna do a bench. They can just run the wiring right where they want it after the fact, um, add lights, kind of just build the whole system out as they go. We've got a door to put in here for the office. Nice 20 by 20. It's gonna really look nice when it starts getting used. But these are uh, Rainer garage doors. Um, Rainer is actually their corporate office. Their worldwide headquarters is what it says, is right in Dixon, Illinois, which is just the town over from me. And so these are their Rainer, um, used to be their Tricor series. These are now a three inch thick uh, foamed in place. It's called their TM300. I do believe they have an R value of about 25. So 25 R value, that is definitely one of the top rated doors out there. And we got them, as you can see, color matched exactly to our burnished slate steel. So man, this building looks sharp. Uh, we officially are probably gonna end this. Maybe I will come back in a long time, see how this thing got moved into, see how it's being you know, held up for the customer and how it's working out. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the build series. I know I really enjoyed this project. Not often do we do one like this. And um, we'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next build series. So thanks, later.